Hey guys, today I want to present a solution to the British Map Olympiad 2023 problem 4. At first, let's have a look on the problem statement. We have given a triangle A, B and C with side lengths A, B and C, which should be positive integers. Moreover, we have given that the greatest common divisor of A, B and C is equal to 1 and that angle B, A, C, this one here, is equal to 3 times the angle CBA, this one here. Now we shall prove that one of A, B or C is a cube. At first we want to use this angle condition here and our idea is to draw in some new points and lines into the picture such that we have the ang angle better at some other points and also that we have some multiples of the angle better at some other points. And therefore, one good idea is to draw in a point P on the line BC in such a way that P lies on the perpendicular bisector of AB so that we have that the angle BAP is also equal to beta. We can calculate now a few more angles in this picture here. At first, we know that this angle PAC is equal to 2 times beta and we also have that the angle CPA is equal to this angle here plus this angle so this angle is also equal to 2 times beta and therefore we have another isosceles triangle. So we get that CP is also equal to B and therefore PB is equal to A minus B and since the triangle ABP is also isosceles, we get that AP is also equal to A minus B. Let's recall that we want to find something out about the values of A, B and C. And therefore, our next step is to get some equations out of this picture here, where we only have the side lengths of the triangles and not the angles in this equation. We see that it is indeed possible to calculate cosine of beta and cosine of 2 times better in terms of the side lengths of the triangle. So we get that cosine of beta is equal to c divided by 2 times a minus b and we get that cosine of 2 better is equal to a minus b divided by 2 times b. To eliminate these terms here, cosine of beta and cosine of 2 times beta, we use the angle addition theorem, which tells us that cosine of 2 times beta is equal to cosine of beta squared minus sine of beta squared, and now this is equal to 2 times cosine of beta squared minus 1. We can plug in the values for cosine of beta and 2 beta now into this equation to get that a minus b divided by 2b is equal to 2 times c divided by 2a minus b all squared minus well, we indeed found that equation only in terms of the side lengths of A, B and C and therefore we can now erase this picture here and try to work on this equation. The first thing we want to do is to eliminate this denominator here because then we only have one fraction left and get some divisibility condition. So let's multiply the equation with 2 times A minus B squared to get that A minus B to the power of 3 over B is equal to c squared minus 2 times a minus b squared. This implies that b divides a minus b to the power of 3 and since a minus b is congruent to a modulo b, this also implies that b divides a to the power of 3. Since we have a minus b on both sides of the equation, our next idea is to multiply the whole equation by b and then maybe we can cancel some terms out. So let's do this to get that this equation is equivalent to a minus b to the power of 3 is equal to bc squared minus 2b times a minus 
the squared. Now the second term here can be brought to the left hand side to get that b c squared is equal to a minus b squared and now times a minus b plus 2b which is a plus b. We already got that b divides a minus b to the power of 3 and we can also conclude that b must now divide a plus b to the power of 3 and at this point it is a good idea to consider some prime number p and to think about how often p divides b and all these three terms on the right hand side because this divisibility condition here tells us that nu p of a minus b is greater than or equal to nu p of b divided by 3 and in the same way nu p of a plus b is greater than or equal to nu p of b divided by 3. There is one condition we haven't used yet, namely that the greatest common divisor of a, b and c is equal to 1. So let's try to use this and therefore we want to consider the case that p divides b. From the condition that b divides a to the power of 3, this also implies that p divides a and then since a, b and c have no common divisors, this implies that p cannot divide c. Let's have a look at how many times such a prime p divides both the sides in this equation here. At first we get that on the left hand side we have nu p of b c squared is equal to nu p of b because we have p does not divide c and on the right hand side we get that this is equal to nu p of a minus b times 2 plus nu p of a plus b. Using these inequalities there we can bound the right hand side from below to get that this is greater than or equal to 3 times nu p of b divided by 3 which is equal to nu p of b. Since the left side of our inequality is equal to the right side we must have a equal case here and therefore we must have equality in this and this inequality which tells us that nu p of b divided by 3 must be an integer. So we get that 3 divides nu p of b for every prime number p which divides b but if p does not divide b then the right hand side is equal to 0. So this divisibility condition is also true. So this holds for every prime p and therefore we know that b must be a cube and we are done.